Hi, and welcome to section 2, which is about finding the right tool to solve your coding tasks. In this section, we have five videos, and they all will talk about libraries and how to manage them on your platform. In the first one, the present video, we will understand what libraries are and what are the benefits of using libraries. Then we'll take a look at the Python standard library, a huge collection of very useful modules and packages. Then in the third video, we'll take a look at the process that we need to go through to find and compare potentially useful library to solve your problems. Then we'll meet two very useful tools, PIP, which is basically a package manager for Python libraries, and VirtualM, which is a tool that allows you to avoid some nifty system-wide library upgrades that might happen on your platform. So in this video, we'll talk about libraries, never reinventing the wheel. What is the purpose then of libraries? We're going to understand in this video. Also, we will see what are the benefits of using libraries. And we'll take a look at a sample, a very simple sample library that I've set out for you. So what is a library? Basically, a library is a bunch of software functionalities that you can just pick and use out of the box to solve your specific coding tasks. Everything that has a, at least a class, a constant, or a function inside it is, can be seen as a library. Libraries are basically made to favor code reuse. What are the benefits then of using libraries? Basically, if you use libraries, you are relieved of you know, taking time to solve trivial or recurrent coding tasks because someone else has already done the job for you and it has structured it in a reusable way. Also, the more libraries are used and the more they're likely to be tested and documented and you know the more feedback the library creators get from the community and from the library clients. Then you can also make a business out of libraries. You can so sell them or share them with other developers. And most important, you can structure your code so that the people working with you can use your own code as a library. And this includes yourself because you can use in the future your own libraries. So let's take a look at the simple library that I've created in PyCharm for you. So I created a GeoPoints module which contains software utilities to assess if a couple of coordinates are really representing a geographic point, a point on the map. Um, I created a is geopoint function that takes a couple of numbers and tells you if this is a feasible, a real point on the map. And then I've set out a few other functions that tells you if a couple of coordinates is placed on the northern hemisphere in the southern one or on the equator. This is a very simple example of, uh, you know, software functionalities that can be reused nevertheless. I created a main script that basically calls these functions upon real places in the world like Quito or Perth and also in imaginary places that are non-real. This is a very simple example again but what I want you to notice is that in Python in order to use libraries you need to remember this magic keyword import. Importing a library gives you access to its namespace and therefore you will be able to call the functions, the classes and everything is stored into that library. So in this video lesson we learned what libraries are and why you should use them in coding. And then we've taken the example of a very simple library.